Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to my podcast. This is Sandeep Anand and I do a monthly podcast covering four broad areas every month. And primarily it's relating to investing and personal finance and also some extent one tip from the personal mastery. So I cover four broad areas. Uh, the first one being stock of the month, the second being a money tip or an investing tip. the third being a book of the month that i found interesting it need not be related to investing it can be any general book and the fourth of course is a personal mastery tip which i learned and i implemented in this month so that it can be helpful for somebody else starting with the first topic that stock of the month well definitely it's uh, the new 100 billion dollar boy in the town and i'm talking about shopify which recently touched the 100 billion dollar market cap and uh, for people who don't know market capitalization it's the total worth the market is perceiving for the company that shopify it's a big feat achieved for toby lutke founder of the canadian based shopify which started just as an online store to sell snowboards in 2004 in the last 16 years a small startup just to it's an online store that it was started as uh, and over 16 years it has gone ahead and become a 100 billion dollar market capitalization company Shopify for those who haven't heard is a very uh, strong digital platform that enables merchants uh, like anybody who want to set up a shop uh, online and they it enables merchants to set up online stores and provide all merchant solutions like payments uh, logistics and multiple other things it's a very powerful story of uh, democratizing digital retailing which means uh, you know it democratizes anybody for me or you anybody who wants to start a business you could just start on click of few buttons online and shopify helps us do that a very powerful concept shop the stock has returned 50 times since the ipo 5 years back i wish i had invested 5 years back i didn't and i missed a 50 bagger there and uh, i can't blame myself for that because it wasn't that known a firm uh, but i recovered because i did invest in shopify a couple of years back and i did um, get a multi bagger at least a 5 to 6 bagger on the last one and a half years and uh, it's a great story uh, and uh, trust me shopify can be a real challenger for amazon in the coming decade if there is one company that can really challenge amazon globally it's going to be shopify well the next is money tip the next section and well who doesn't like to have more money all of us would love to have some more money in our pocket and some more wealth that would help us to live the life we want and uh, here is a money tip how to increase a bit of extra savings how to get that extra savings um, for us to invest and uh, in, th- in this uh, remote covid-19 lockdown period uh, we don't have much to do going outside uh, everything being locked down we are pretty much locked inside the house and uh, there is not much we can go out and shop and uh, you know buy things we want so the obvious alternative for people is to look for uh, the digital online shopping um, and uh, install many apps uh, that provides online shopping facilities that you could order and reach uh, things to your home and uh, precisely most of us are now satiating our cravings for shopping by you know buying things uh, online and most of us spend our time uh, it's, a, it's becoming a time pass you know for people to just uh, browse through different products and online order online and get things home now that's going to increase the expenses that we have obviously there is not much we can do or going outside so it's okay but then there is another way to do this i mean if we can plan and schedule what we want to buy once or twice a week and use these apps only during those times and uh, move those apps from the visibility of uh, home screens or the initial screens that you ta- toggle around move them to the last screen so that we don't have uh you know we don't reach those screens uh, frequently and uh, these apps might not be in our visibility and so what's out of our sight will be out of our mind and then obviously it reduces a bit of discretionary expenses and that gives a small uptick to our savings which would be really helpful and so i brought um, i thought i'd bring this wealth and money tip the next one is not so interesting for most of the folks it's a book of the month it obviously is interesting for people who are readers and um, i at least engage myself reading couple of books at least 3 2 to 3 books a month and one of the book i'm reading right now i found it was very intriguing title and um, i thought i should bring this up and this book is called limitless it's written by 
the brain coach uh, jim quick and i'm i'm listening to that in the audible actually and this book is an instant new york times bestseller just recently uh, launched published and it's a number one wall street journal bestseller as well now it's a great book and um, you know i'm listening to this pretty much when i go for a walk and it's a very interesting r- listen and um, the it, uh, jim quick this book teaches us uh, in a very uh, intuitive way how to increase our reading speed exponentially how to improve our brain power and uh, keep the brain uh, power fit uh, keep the em- emotional and mental uh, fitness uh, active and book has a lot of realistic models that uh, jim quick, quick has put it and uh, very uh, simple steps that uh, jim teaches us um, his audience now uh, grab the book and i'm sure you won't regret uh, reading this jam now the last one in the last session of my podcast is a personal mastery trip now a personal mastery uh, you know how to achieve personal how to master something in any area that we chose and that's the topic now one good tip i got and i'm starting to implement i'm trying there getting there so it's uh, reduce the digital deluge of information or the junk information that comes into your life that in- mainly includes the negative news and um, you know keep them out of your life and to how to have a deep and meaningful work in your chosen area well how do i do that i have blocked four slots i have created four slots distributed across the day like morning and afternoon evening and night and each slot is like 20 minutes and i use uh, a new i listen to news or read through the social media any sort of media and communication only during these 20 minute slots and uh, you know the exception is just taking calls otherwise or messages but otherwise pretty much limited to these four slots and uh, it's not that i'm able to do that successfully 100% but it's getting there as i said and you know i have reduced the screen time drastically over the last couple of months and uh, it's helping me improve focus on a lot of uh, personal mastery as well as you know the reducing the screen time is helping to increase the creativity i mean uninterrupted uh, no disturbance zones like one to two hours dedicating such couple of hours for doing the things that we want to ahead achieve mastery and especially like learning new things or improving the skills or practically doing things it helps i mean it could be 2 hours morning or evening dedicate 2 hours of uninterrupted time and focus and do the work that we want to and also you know remove the screen time as much possible which helps give us that emotional quotient increase uh, you know it can help us doing meditation or thinking time or you know it could be creative time whatever that is so this is something i am trying to implement and it's uh, helping a lot i thought i should bring this into personal mastery if you are still tuned in and listening to me thanks for being with me this brings to the end of the podcast and i will meet you again the next month um, so until then stay safe thank you for being with me